Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, Krisha. And for today's video, I'm going to teach you how to render in Moongin. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So this tutorial is going to be really quick but before everything else if you are looking for a new laptop in architecture check out some of my videos for best cheap budget architecture laptops so i'll just put down the link below okay so here's our model and i already put some lights in it and plants and some other stuff so all you have to do now is to modify its material so let's try to modify this one first so i'm gonna choose this one poly concrete and then, and then I'm going to increase the colorization, I think, to 0 0.4. Okay, so I usually increase the weathering in order to make it a little more realistic, as well as the edges. I also increase the edges because usually in real life, the corners or the edges of, of a building is not totally that sharp. So increasing the edges make it, makes it a little curvy to give that more re realistic look. So then let's go with this one, the flooring as well as the facade on this part. So I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm already satisfied with the color of this one and this one, so I'm not going to increase the colorization. We're now going to go with this part, outdoor, and look for the wood, so there. Okay, so I think this one's fine. So I'm fine with the color of this wood, so I'm not going to increase the colorization. So for the gloss and reflectivity, I'm not going to increase it to 2.0, so I'll just go with 1.5. Let's try to improve the grass so that it's not that totally flat at all. I'm gonna give it some 3D grass. So let me go for this one. This is what I usually pick for grasses. So I'm just going to increase the grass size to 0 0.3 maybe. And the grass length. And also the curliness. Para mas makita pa siya dun sa blender. Okay, so I think we're already done for modifying the materials in this model. So after that, we're gonna have to click this one, photo. So in order to see how the picture is gonna look like after rendering, you just have to click this part. Just click anywhere in the photo, in the model. So there, that's going to be the look after rendering this model so, so obviously i'm not satisfied with this look so we're gonna have to put some effects in it so i usually apply this two point perspective because if this two point perspective is not applied this is how the model is going to look like there so let's add some effects click this one first we're going to add a sun so this sun direction also depends on your model. Oh, I think just this, this 0 0.6. And then the heading, as you can see the sun is rotating around the model. So I'm gonna go with this one. Then I'm going to increase the sun brightness. 
Then let's add some precipitation. This effect usually adds the um, rainy effect on your model, rainy or snowy effect on your model. So it depends on how you want it. So I wanted to apply this rainy effect in order to get that reflection from this part. So the particle quantity, as you can see, there's these um, little particles of the raindrops. So I don't want it to look like it's raining. I just wanted to to make the scene of an after rain. So I'm going to increase the particle size a little. Okay, so let's add another effect. I'm going to choose this real skies. So I'm going to put it here, yes. 57. So this is 59.6. And then the brightness, I'm going to increase it a little. I guess 1.3 is fine. And the overall brightness, I'm good with that one. Let's add another effect. So I'm going to add this effect, sharpen. So obviously natin yan hanggang dudo. Next, we're going to add some exposure since it's a little dark. So I'm just going to increase it, this exposure a little. 0.6 is enough. So I don't really like to increase the exposure that much because as you can see, it's a little darker. Because I also want to emphasize the, the lightings of the model. So then of course, the color correction. I'm going to increase the temperature since this scene is an after rain. Maybe here, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Then also increase the tint. The vibrance. Then the brightness. And then I'm going to lower the sat saturation to 0.8. Then to know, let's add some reflection. <laughs> We're gonna use high. I don't know, it just gives more details, I guess. So good not to And then. So I'm also go going to add hyper light. So I'm going to increase it to so 46.7. Okay. Then the skylight. So I'm good with the brightness and the saturation. I'm just going to make the render quality too high. Then lastly, let's add some shadows. I think. This is going to be the last part. I'm going to increase the coloring. And then lower the brightness. There. I'm going to turn on the Zero point five. Zero point five is fine. And the edges too. Maybe zero point eight. Yeah. After that, we're going to render the photo. Wait, I just usually choose the desktop in order to make the rendering faster because these two are just too big. <laughs>
Oh, so as you can see, here is the before and after. Here is the process of what we did. So that's all guys for today's video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below of what you think of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also guys, click the notification bell for you to be notified every time I post a video. So.